was quick. They didn't ask me many questions. Just what I saw. They didn't feel like we were in trouble. Then why would anyone be in trouble? It was a freak accident. I don't know, I guess. Maybe I always feel like I'm in trouble. Hey, this ain't your fault. This, this is on me. <clears throat> this ain't nobody's fault. I wonder if they notified his family yet. His family's in Maryland. He came out here to go to UT. And he ended up staying. He was supposed to go see them this summer, but then the lockdown happened. I think it's been two years since he's been home. Why do we leave him there? Why? We wouldn't have done that with anybody else. Because when one of us gets killed on a call, another house comes in and takes care of it. That's what we do. It's a protocol. Heroic measures right up to the hospital doors. That's how we've been trained. We don't call it in the field. We should have stayed and we should have been working on him. There wasn't enough of them left to work on, Nancy. I'm sorry. As you were told upstairs, there are people you can talk to, that you should talk to. The department's going to make those resources available. I'm calling the shift. Everybody go home. Is he OK? Already no post. Feels weird to just leave. We still have like 11 hours to go. Yeah, but that's protocol too. We got the next crew here already. Yeah, but what about the volcano? Geologists say seismic activity has begun returning to pre-eruption levels. Officials are cautiously optimistic that the worst is over, leaving Austin with quite a mess to clean up. And a deadly reminder that sometimes even Mother Nature needs to let off steam. Maybe now she can keep it bottled up for another couple million years. <laughs>